Well, gamers, it has been a hell of a month, wouldn't you agree? We're going to take a little bit of a break from talking about zoophiles and pedophiles and just general degenerates online, and instead we're going to rewind a little bit and just talk about something a little bit more fun. We're going to have a have a little bit of a nice little roast of a fun little channel. You know, it's this channel that brought you such acclaimed videos as calling Obama at 3 a.m. and stalkers. That's right, today we are going to be taking a look at nobody's favorite commentary channel, Deviant Crow. Now, before all of you decide to run over there and mass dislike his videos, um, don't, don't, don't bother. I don't, I don't think it's gonna have much of an impact on uh, his channel as, uh, as it stands. Um, because holy shit, look at some of these. 430 views, 6 likes, 71 dislikes. 458 views, 65 dislikes, 1 like, 1500 views, 9 likes, 393 dislikes, 3600 views, 20 likes, 910 dislikes. Holy shit. Yeah, Crow, if my fucking ratios were this bad, I would also probably be making a video about why dislikes are lazy and stupid. Okay, so normally this would be the part of the video where I go over some of their videos, I you know present arguments against some of the things that they happen to say, but uh, Crow's content is just straight up and down asinine. Um, so instead, what I'm going to do, especially with this particular video, I'm not going to even humor Crow. I'm not going to give him the time of fucking day. I'm not going to even just pretend he's got a legitimate point. Instead, what I'm going to do is go to this comment here that I found left by fake ass, and we're just going to play some of these uh, some of these great clips of when he uh, when he had some issues with his fucking speech. Um, so we're going to start off with a big one, like they mentioned here. You know, every artist does. <laughs> okay. Um, let's see here. Bullshit. Like... <laughs> pissed. <laughs> Alright, let's skip ahead this one right here. A personal favorite. Fact you. If you <laughs> Okay, their brain broke. Double standard without, you know, <laughs> ex- <laughs> Hold on, I gotta play that one again. I think I was laughing too hard. Double standard without, you know, ex- <laughs> going on about it. <laughs> <laughs> that fucking sound. How does a human being make that sound? <laughs> Let's do this one. My videos aren't good, are pretty good, <laughs> but- my videos aren't good. I think he had to stop himself from having self-awareness. <laughs> just sort of like shut his brain down. Oh my god. Um, the best one. On demographic and never grow. <laughs> oh. <laughs> never grow. <laughs> sounds like a fucking, I don't know, like some fucking, um... Some fucking anime villain, some shit. Not even like an anime villain, like from some Rankin Boss villain, from like some fucking the Isle of Misfit Toys. On <laughs> demographic and never grow. <laughs> Tell me you can't hear that shit in like some Rankin Boss Christmas special. <laughs> I fucking dare you. Anyway, that's uh, that's gonna do it for this segment. Holy shit. <laughs> Of course, I don't know what I expected when he acts like it's some kind of own to tell me that I'm a Nightite Eye clone, who is a friend of mine and fellow commentator. And the grounds for calling me a Nightite Eye clone are... We both have... Furry avatars? Greetings, viewers! Nightite Eye here. So, Kylie Lovely has asked me to tell you the difference between a fox and a coyote. Even though know, the difference should be obvious, but here we go. One is handsome, smartly dressed, has great hair, awesome with the ladies, and the other is a coyote. But no, for real. Coyote and I are as different as night and day. For example, our content. While we both did cover the Dragon Age drama last year, we talk about very different things on our channels. For example, I mainly cover bad countdowns or response videos, and Coyote mainly goes after zoo files and those the Tumblr mindset. There's also our editing styles. As you might have been able to tell by now, my avatar has changed in art style 
quite a bit here. And that's because I am what's known as a slideshow commentator, while Kylie's stills are always consistent. So why does Steven Krogan throw us the same beast? Maybe if I had to guess, I say the big brain bros races against canines. After all, caves and foxes are natural enemies of crows. Well, I think I have done my job here. Hoping I haven't said anything Kaylee has said already. And this is not that icing. Thanks for letting me share my thoughts. And now, back to Kaylee. I mean, honest to God, ladies and gentlemen, there's a lot of things I could say about this creator. If I really dug into their content, I could probably find at least three hours worth of content to give you. But realistically, I think the most concise way to put this is simply by putting forward a question directly to you, Crow. Have you considered quitting? And this is a serious question, because I have never seen somebody so consistently get so much flack on all of their videos, including the ones that started performing well, and by which I mean they're actually getting views. I have never seen somebody as small as you consistently get this kind of fucking backlash for every single upload. So are you sure commentary is the right move for you? I mean... It could just be sunk cost keeping you going right now, but if I were you, buddy, and this is me being serious right now, I would consider creating a different style of content, because it doesn't look like this is for you. So, I'm, I'm not going to belabor this anymore. Uh, I think uh, I think just about everything that needs to be said is really already apparent in the ratios of his videos, so... You know, social media is in the description. Crow, uh, like I said, I would really consider making a different style of content. I really, really would. That's going to do it for this video, and I'll catch you guys later.